So when you guys picked up your stuff for the beginning of the school year, you were each provided with a TI-84 plus CE calculator. And I'm going to show you how to use this to come up with some of our statistical summaries. I'm going to find the summaries that you have to do on homework number two. And I'm going to do two data sets. The first one I'm going to do is one, two, three, four, five. And then the second set I'm going to do is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to enter our data set. So to enter the data set, you need to click the stat button. And then you can use the arrow keys to go to the various things in the stats area. So I'm going to do edit. And I'm going to hit enter because I want to edit my data set. So I'm going to hit enter. And in this L1 column, I am going to enter my data set. In this case, I'm going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to do 1, enter, 2, enter, 3, enter, 4, enter, 5, enter. So there's my data set. And now what I want to do is I want to do the analysis on the data set. So I'm going to hit stat again. And then I'm going to go over to calc because I want to calculate my stuff. And since I only have one variable, I'm doing one variable stats. So I'm going to hit enter. OK, my list is in L1. There is no frequently list. And I'm going to go down and hit calculate. So I'm going to hit enter to say, yep, that my L1's good. I don't need a frequency list. Then I click calculate. So let's talk about what this information is. X bar is my mean, and my mean is 3. Sigma x is the sum of the x's. Okay? S sub x is my standard deviation. Okay, they used a capital here. Um, that's just because of the limitations of the software, of what it puts. But the standard deviation for my data set is 1.58113883. Okay? Their n is, there were five things. Uh, we'll talk about the lowercase sigma x later on this stats class. The n is the number of items, where there were five. The minimum was one. The first quartile was 1.5. I'm going to use my down arrow keys. The median was three. Q3 is 4.5. And the maximum was five. So for the purposes of your homework assignment, you want to find the S of X, the X bar, and then it's going to ask you the Q1 and Q3 type numbers. Okay? I will tell you right now, on your first test, you will have to do one five number um, set of stats calculating the standard deviation by hand using the formula. So you can use this to check your work but you need to actually put the numbers into the formula, work it step by step. So that was my first summary. I'm going to hit clear. And I'm going to do another summary. So again, I'm going to go stat. I need to edit my data list. So I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to replace this with 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to go 6, enter, 7, enter, 8, enter, 9, enter, 10, enter. Again, I've got my data in, so I now need to calculate it. So I hit stat again. I'm going to use the right arrow to go to calc. Enter for one variable. I'm going to hit enter three times to calculate them. My mean was 8. My standard deviation is 1.58113883. That looks the same as it was in the previous one which it was, is. Number of items was 5. The minimum was 6. Q1 is 6.5. Down arrow. Median is 8. Q3 is 9.5. And the maximum is 10. So again, the purpose of this video was to show you how to use your TI-84 plus CE calculator to quickly come up with your summary statistics for our one variable statistics.